Okay, so following on from the last video, I'm going to have a look at some more algebraic fractions and I'm going to have a look at adding and subtracting them. So let's have a look at three or four examples. The first one I'm going to do is 5 over 2x minus 1. And we'll add 2 over 3x minus 1. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, now what I'm going to do here is just draw the division line first and look at what common denominator, what lowest common multiple am I going to use between um, this one here and this denominator here. So what we would normally do um, if we were unsure is just multiply the two of them together. We would take this and take this, multiply the two of them together, and that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to write 2x minus 1. I'm just going to multiply that by 3x minus 1. And I know that always works. So for example, if you have 2 thirds plus 3 fifths, you can just multiply 3 by 5. You'll get 15. This will always work. This will, this will give us a lowest common multiple that will work. Let's do this then. Okay, so we have, we have a 2x minus 1 here. We have a 2x minus 1 here, and we've turned it into a 2x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. So what we've done to this 2x minus 1 is multiplied it by 3x minus 1. So we must, in order to maintain this fraction, in order to keep this fraction equal to this fraction here, we must multiply the numerator by 3x minus 1 as well. So what we end up doing is writing down the 5 and then the 3x minus 1 here. So in other words, this fraction here is exactly the same as this fraction here. All I've done is multiply the numerator by 3x minus 1 and the denominator by 3x minus 1. So really all I've done is multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing. So you know you can do that in fractions if you have two thirds. You can multiply the top by 3 for example to get 6. You can multiply the top, the bottom by 3 as well to get 9. So these two fractions are equal. So all I've done there is taken the 2, multiplied it by 3, and I've taken the 3 and multiplied it by 3. So that has given me 6 over 9. So that's what I've done here. I've just multiplied, I've just multiplied the numerator by 3x minus 1 and the denominator by 3x minus 1. Okay, so let's um, get rid of that and continue on. We're going to do the second fraction now. So I'm going to write in this plus here. So you, you must make sure you include this plus here in the middle to separate the two fractions. Now I'm going to do this fraction here. So if you look at this fraction here, look at the denominator. You've got 3x minus 1 here. What did we do to this 3x minus 1 to turn it into this? Well, we multiplied by 2x minus 1, so we must multiply the numerator by 2x minus 1 as well. So we take our 2 and we multiply it by 2x minus 1. So it just means that this fraction here is exactly the same as this fraction here. This fraction here. Okay, <clears throat> so let's just multiply this out. So we have 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times minus 1, minus 5, plus 2 times 2 is 4x, plus times minus, minus 2 times 1, 2. And that's all over 2x minus 1, and then we've got a 3x minus 1 here. Just to simplify this then, we have a 15x here, plus 4x, so that's going to give us 19x. And then we have a minus 5, minus 2, so that's just going to give us minus uh, 7. And that's all over 2x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. And that's it. That's as much as we can do with, with this. Uh, so this is, this is the result of adding these two fractions here. Okay, so let's have a look at another one. <clears throat> so let's take, um, we'll take 10 over 2x minus 5. And this time we're going to subtract. We'll do 2 over 3x minus 2. 
So same thing again, we just draw our division line. Our lowest common multiple is going to be the two denominators multiplied. So we've got 2x minus 5 multiplied by 3x minus 2. We're going to multiply those two together. So what did we do again to this 2x minus 5 to turn it into this? Well, we multiplied by 3x minus 2. So you must multiply the 10 by 3x minus 2. So now we've just converted this fraction into this fraction here. It's exactly the same fraction, just, uh, a, non, just a uh, non-simplified version of it, if you like. So we have a minus here, and we're going to do the same to this second fraction. So again, what did we do to this 3x minus 2 to turn it into this here? We multiplied by 2x minus 5, so we must multiply this by 2x minus 5. So we got 2 times 2x minus 5. Okay, let's multiply out our numerator. So we've got 10 times 3x, which is 30x. We've got 10 times minus 2, which is minus 20. We've got minus 2 times plus 2, which is minus 4 times x. And then we have minus times minus, which is plus 2 times 5, which is 10. And on the bottom then we've got 2x minus 5 times 3x minus 2. Okay, so um, let's just simplify this again. So we have a 30x minus 4x, that will give us 26x. So that's just this one and this one here. And I'm going to do minus 20 plus 10. So minus 20 plus 10 is just minus 10. And then on the bottom here, we've got 2x minus 5 times 3x minus 2. Okay, so let's do the next one. Next one is uh, 1 over 3x, and we're going to subtract 2 over 6x. So let's have a look at these. Um, again, we'll just draw our division line. So our lowest common multiple here, let's look at the numbers first. We've got a 3 and a 6. So our lowest common multiple there is going to be a 6. And then we've got an x and an x. So what we're going to do is just write down an x here. So 3x will divide into 6x twice, and 6x will divide into 6x once. So that should work. So what did we do to this 3x to turn it into 6x? Well, we just multiplied by 2. 3x times 2 will give us 6x. So we must multiply the numerator by 2 as well. So we're going to write down the minus. And what did we do to this 6x to turn it into 6x? Well, we just multiply by 1. So multiply the top by 1, and you get 2 there. So we have 2 minus 2 here, which is 0, over 6x, which just gives us 0. So that was a little bit shorter than the other ones. So let's have a look at one more, and that'll be it. So we have um, 12 divided by x minus 2. We're going to add 3 divided by 2 minus x. Now, <clears throat> we've got to do our division line here again, and we've got to work out a lowest common multiple or common denominator here uh, for these two here. Now, if you can spot here that this is x minus 2 and this is 2 minus x, they're both the same except the signs are different for each term. So here we have a plus x. Here we have a minus x, here we have a minus 2, here we have a plus 2. So they're almost the same. So if we could make this, if we could turn this one into an x minus 2, that would save us. I mean, normally what we would do here is write down x minus 2 times 2 minus x. Um, and that will work, you know, that, that should work for us. But um, an easier way of doing this is just to convert this one here into an x minus 2. So how are you going to do that without changing the actual fraction itself? Well, let's just have a look at, at 2 minus x separately, 2 minus x. Now, what we could do here is have a look at x minus 2, put a bracket around it. How can we change, how can we make this here equal to this here? Well, what we could do is just simply put a minus here. So if you notice that they are actually the same, this minus here 
times this x will give us a minus x. There's a 1 here if you like. There's a, a 1 here that's minus 1. So what we've got here is minus 1 times x which is minus 1x. And then we've got this minus times minus which will give us a plus 2. And this is a plus 2. So they are actually equal. This thing here is exactly the same as this thing here. Okay, so what we can do here is take these two fractions and what we can do here is write the first one down, x minus 2, and the second one then will just become 3 over. Now instead of this 2 minus x, instead of this 2 minus x here, I know I can write it like this. So if I write it like that, I will end up down here with a minus x minus 2. Now, I'll just do this slowly. If you, if you look at that, you've got a 12 over x minus 2 here. And here, really, you've got this fraction just becomes a, a, um, a plus divided by a minus, which is just minus. So really what happens here is you end up with a minus in front of this fraction here, if you like, and then x minus 2 here. So really what you end up with here is x minus 2. You've got a, a plus minus here. Two signs are different here. So that's just going to become a minus 3 over x minus 2. So now what we've done is we've taken these two fractions here and adjusted this denominator down here to make sure that it's x minus 2. But in doing that, it's resulted in the sign here changing from a plus to a minus. Okay, so now this is going to be a little bit easier for us. Um, so what we can do here is just take x minus 2 as our denominator, because we have an x minus 2 here, and we have an x minus 2 here. So we don't need to multiply the two denominators. We just write down x minus 2 as our lowest common multiple. So x minus 2 into x minus 2 is 1, so we don't have to do anything with the top here. And same here, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything with this either. Uh, it's just going to be th uh, 3. It's just going to be 3 here. So 12 minus 3 then um, is just going to be 9, and we've got an x minus 2 here. And that's it. Um,